Hey game makers, Nelderson here. I came out with a new update to my server and I really want to go over a couple things real quick because there's a couple of um, breaking changes that I made. So I just want to go over them real quick, kind of show what I did. Um, so first things first, the actual server itself, I really only changed one thing. Uh, well, a couple things actually. I got rid of the uh, global variable because it just wasn't needed. Uh, I actually found that there's a built-in I.O. function when I updated Socket.io. So the, the, the second half of this is, um, the reason why I did all this is to update all the dependencies within the project. So that way we're 100% up to date before we start uh, developing other systems on top of this. It's something I'm going to do once every, I don't know, a couple months or so. I'm going to look through and see if there's any breaking changes and kind of keep up on it on, on my end. Uh, but... This was one of those uh, that I had to do. So, <clears throat> uh, when you want to see how many players are connected, it runs this little function on startup instead of the conflated mess that I had before. So, with that, the other thing that I did was net player. Uh, net player does not come default. Uh, so, I did an example socket, and I gave an example socket under the socket modules. Um, it's just kind of a really basic, like, hey, here's how you kind of sort of, um, it's, it's supposed to be a boilerplate, so you can just copy this, put it into your own module, and make your own module, which, once again, we will be going into the dev series on how to do all that good stuff, uh, but really what I want to get across is I did add, um, net player documentation, where to add it, how to add it, all that good stuff, so... It's still there. It's I haven't take I, I took it away, um, so that you can re-add it instead of it being there by default. So if you don't want it, it's not there by default. All right. The other big big thing uh, under server, I did in uh, include a change log, which will detail this a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to touch on this briefly. Okay, this is important. Important. You must clear your database and start over or follow the instructions below. So this is one of those uh, project breaking updates that I really had to consider. Uh, I almost kept it where uh, we weren't going to do this. But um, the reason why this is is because I use Passport Local Mongoose to generate the salt as well as the uh, encryption on your passcode. So... Uh, Without getting too technical, all right, it used uh, SHA, SHA-1, it went now to a default SHA-256 encryption. It's a better encryption, it makes more sense to use, it's for security. So with all that said, uh, I had to update it. The only problem is, is that now you won't be able to log in normally using the old SHA-1. So, there's multiple ways to do this, but ultimately, uh, since we are in... Um, we're kind of just starting out here. It's only been a couple months. I don't think anyone's really into production. I mean, I have a database with like a hundred plus users and that's because I made a, a quick little demo and people had to sign up for it. So, I mean, other than myself, uh, there's really no reason why you can't clear your database and start over, which I'm going to show in a second how to do because I still have it on uh, my other database. I haven't done it. Uh, so... <clears throat> And I, I, I tell you what the instructions are here. If you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to email me, neldersongaming at gmail.com. Uh, I'll answer any questions that you have or throw it in the chat below, Twitter, somewhere. Throw it somewhere. I'll help you out with it. Because um, it is it is game breaking it, or it is project breaking, I should say. So I want to make sure you guys are good with that. Uh, but once this is done, it should be done. It's done. Uh, if you've... You know, if you only have a couple entries in your database, you get rid of them, you add yourself again, and you're done. It's it's not really that big of a deal. It's just, yeah, it, it's for security. It, it, just do it. All right, with that said, uh, MLab. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in and show you how easy it is on MLab since we've been using MLab for everything. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to go into my database, my collection. Um, you don't have to get rid of metrics because metrics doesn't have any of the silliness with passwords. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's go into accounts 
and it's as simple as delete all documents in collection. Okay, it's 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 sad to see it, but you have to do it. Um, and then at this point, I believe I can come in here. I'm just going into my project six, and we're just going to show you how you can then come in, register. I'm just going to do something that nobody should do, and do that real quick. Why aren't you registering? Why aren't you registering? Oh, because I haven't started the server on my own machine. Give me a sec. Do, 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 do. Let's do it now. There we go. All right. Just going to come in here. Activate it real quick just to show that this is all working. Um, but yeah. If you, if you try to log in, you just won't be able to log in. So I don't want you to update and then not be able to log in. And then you're looking at me like, why? Uh, so, yeah. Now you can log in just fine. Um, yeah, I mean, that is, that's the big deal. That's why I wanted to come out with this video today. Um, so that we're all on the same page. Uh, th this is... This is one of those, okay, I want you to burn it <laughs> and and build it back up again. It doesn't take long if you've only had a couple. Uh, like I said, if you have uh, a couple strategies that we could do, uh, if you have a lot of people, you could always back up your database, put it somewhere else, and try to build it again. And then you can always, since you have emails, you can always email said people and say, hey, sign up for another account. Um, there's probably ways to do it where you can check if it's an old account versus a new account. So if you t start timestamping everything, uh, I'm sure you can figure out, you know, past X timestamp, you know, use the old encryption versus the new encryption. I mean, there's ways to get it done. Um, but by default, I'm going to keep it 256 encryption because it's just more secure. Okay. So if, if you need help with any of that kind of kind of stuff like it's invaluable to you let me know but since this has only been out for a couple months and we're kind of still in in raw development i highly doubt anybody is is uh is holding on to their database that tightly uh it, but please let me know if there's an issue with that with that later game makers